hello darlings welcome back to my channel a completely different type of video today because this is a ranting video um, I'm really disappointed that I'm actually having to do this video um, but I'm, I'm not impressed so um, I thought I would do it as all these videos are all over YouTube but they are happy positive videos um, about the subject and unfortunately my video is not going to be that but um so I was so excited about the Victoria Beckham launch. I already have Victoria Beckham items um, going back for many years. Um, I've been a customer. So, you know, I just was a huge fan of Victoria Beckham. Um, and I was very excited about the Target line that was being launched. I'd already picked out all the items I liked and I couldn't wait for the launch. They announced the launch date, but they never gave us a time here in the UK anyway. So. What that meant for me was that I was having to just guess, you know, when um, the items would go live. And so on Sunday morning, 7 a.m., I went and checked the website. Now, the website had changed from coming, you know, launching on the 9th of April. It had gone from that to saying, now available to buy, click below. So that was very exciting at seven o'clock in the morning um, to see that it was live, but the screen was blank. There were no pictures. All the images that were previously there saying coming soon had disappeared and it was just blank and it wasn't letting me scroll through anything. Nothing was there. So I was very confused by that. Um, and I tried and tried again on different devices, on my phone, laptop, um, iPad, etc., and nothing was working. Um, at about 8.30, it was still saying the same thing. And I went onto Inst Instagram um, and I saw uh, a number of people having the same issues. But then I saw other people saying, oh no, I've managed to get on, but now I'm in a queue. I can see the items and it's removing things from my cart. Everyone was just complaining with all these different issues. And I was thinking, well, how come I can't see anything? You know, some people are in a queue. I'm not even at that stage yet where I'm, where I'm in a queue. Um, and then somebody else said that if you typed in target into the search bar, that everything came up, which you shouldn't have to search it. It should just already be there. But anyway, I typed it in, I searched it and it came up. So that was fine. Then when I clicked on whatever item I wanted to purchase, then I was put into a queue. Now, no word of a lie, I had to click between 30 and 50 times the refresh button before I was out of the queue again. So very, very frustrating. Um, so if you can imagine how long that took. In total, it took me three hours to actually make my purchase. Um, but anyway, so yes, refresh, 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 30 to 50 times, and then you can finally see the item that you've clicked on. Then you pick your size and you add it to cart, and then you're in a queue again. So another 30 to 50 times of refreshing, then you get to see your shopping cart. Then when you want to add more items, so when you want to continue shopping to add more than one item to your cart, it was putting me in, in a queue again. But then when I refreshed like 30 to 50 times, my shopping cart was empty, even though I'd spent all that time just to get one item in, it was then throwing it back out. So I was going through this for three hours. It was very, very frustrating. And what I realized was that the only way it would work for me was if I just bought one thing at a time. So what I had to do was put it in the basket and then just check out. Because if I tried to continue shopping and went back into the site, that was when everything was messing up. So I would just put it in the basket and then check out. But then what that meant was I had to pay separate shipping fees per item. And the only option they gave was seven pounds for next day delivery. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to do that for each one, which is really frustrating, but I didn't have an option. I, I could either buy one thing and one thing only or buy multiple things, but separately and pay an extra seven pounds each. So that's what I ended up doing. Now it's Tuesday and um, I ordered it on Sunday. So Tuesday, I was expecting everything to arrive. Very, very excited. Um, and I receive an email telling me that it is going to take two to 10 working days. Now, 10 working days is two weeks because obviously you have the weekends. So I've got to wait up to two weeks to receive my items that I paid seven pounds extra per item for. So I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Even if I didn't pay seven pounds per item, even if I just paid the flat rate of seven pounds for everything, it's still not good enough. First of all, they didn't give you an option to pick any other delivery option. It was just 
seven pounds next day delivery and that was it so you had to pick next day delivery you didn't have a choice so that's the first thing and secondly why give that option if you cannot uphold it like don't offer something that you can't stick to they should have known that they were going to be very very busy they should have known they were probably going to sell out and if you can't fulfill your obligation of getting those things shipped out to your clients you shouldn't have put that as a delivery option and you definitely shouldn't have forced everybody to choose that delivery option because now everyone's waiting on Tuesday like me for their delivery and they're not going to get it. I mean, maybe some people have got theirs today, but I've spoke to a few other people and they've had the same email as me. So I'm guessing most people aren't going to get theirs today. That's so many people disappointed. I just think it is absolutely ridiculous. So I emailed them. They haven't responded yet. Um, so we'll see what they have to say. But I just thought I would mention it because I just don't think it's good enough. Um, for Victoria Beckham as well. This is Victoria Beckham. This is a, this is a high-end designer. Yes, it's the Target collection. But still, it's still Victoria Beckham. It's still her team. This isn't Team Target. This is Victoria Beckham's team. This is The error is on her team. This has nothing to do with Target. They fulfilled their obligations. They've done the collaboration with her. I've ordered it through her website not Target's website, so it's Victoria Beckham's website that the blame lies, it's with her team, whoever is in, was in charge of that website messed up, everyone messed up, basically, so I'm not impressed. <sighs> yeah, I really don't like ranting about things and complaining, I'm not one to complain, um, you know, sending emails and things, it's not really my style, but I was just genuinely annoyed. Honestly, it was the worst shopping experience of my life, like online shopping. It was just horrendous. I was so stressed out. And then today I was calmer because I thought, you know what? Okay, that was terrible, but at least it's coming today. No, it's not coming today. I've got to wait two weeks. Not happy, not impressed. I can't believe it. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this video. Hope you're all having a lovely day. And if you do have the Victoria Beckham pieces, lucky you. Um, when I finally do get them, I will be doing an upbeat haul video showing you everything um, that I bought. So look forward to that. And if this is in a couple of weeks time and I've actually got it, I will link to it below so you guys can have a look and see what I actually bought. Um, and I'll keep you updated as well with what they respond with because I'm not impressed. And I'm sure there's thousands of people out there that are fuming just like me so um that's it for today please like and subscribe and i'll see you all again soon bye